Hi, it's Robert from Heel and Toe, and today I'm collaborating with Collecting Cars to present you this very special 1M Coupe. Now, some of you may actually know this very car from the one or the other video, and as a matter of fact, I did once do a video on whether or not modifying this car ruins its specialness. So check that out. The link is down below, and just a spoiler, it doesn't. I actually think it enhances and elevates everything that's great about this car. Some of you may actually say that with a planned limited production of 2,700 units, which was up to 6,000 units because of the high demand, you'd be crazy to modify this car or do anything but keep it original. But I think if you like to push a car to its limit, whether it be on the road or on the track, this may just be the thing for you. I mean, you know what they say about the 1M Coupe, it may just be the best M car of all times, However, when it came out, it was a little bit controversially discussed. It was the first car from the M fraction of BMW featuring a turbocharged engine, in this case, a straight six. And the looks at first also were a little bit controversial, but I actually think it's aged very well. I mean, it just looks so aggressive. It's like a little angry BMW on steroids. I mean, if you look at the wide arches on the front and especially on the back, I personally love the look from behind. It just looks like it wants to get going. And in this case, with the green wrap and the gold wheels, it just hits the sweet spot. Then the car is sitting on a KW Club Sport suspension with custom spring rates. Um, I think the fitment is just perfect and actually nothing rubs on the car. Even if you're on an Orchleife, you don't have any rubbing and it's a completely clean build. Then we have the AP Racing Pro 5000R on the front. The rear is original, of course, operated uh, brake pads and additional brake cooling on the front just to make sure that the brakes never fail on you when you're driving on track. Other than that, the exterior is pretty original. We have some performance carbon bits, the mirror caps, the spoiler, um, darker taillights. But other than that, the car is very original, um, which I like. It's not too much. It doesn't have a big wing on the back, a big wing on the front. Um, I think it is the perfect club sport car. I mean, would you just look at that? I don't know if BMW is ever going to produce something like that again. And I don't know if there's another BMW where we, when you're standing behind it like this, the arches are coming out that much. I mean, it's just so aggressive and it's not even moving. Incredible. I mean, I could just look at the car all day, but um, let's move on. Let's look at the interior of the car. I mean, the interior is just classical BMW. Very nice space to be in. We have two Recaro pole positions. We have the Schrode six-point harnesses. The rear seats have been removed, uh, replaced with a Heigo Club Sport cage. And for me, this is the perfect Club Sport package. All the carpets are in, it's not super noisy. I have an Alcantara BMW Performance wheel. Uh, and of course, most importantly, the shifter and the three pedals, which I think is what makes this car so fun. So let's move on to the engine. As you know, three liter straight six turbocharged. Uh, in this case, since the owner did drive on track a little bit, but also a lot on the street and going on tours through the Alps, what was very important is that the cooling worked, which was a known problem with these cars. And in this case, the cooling has been completely taken care of. So we have a Mishimoto aluminum radiator. We have an upgraded intercooler. We have additional oil coolers. And this car does not have any problems with oil. And even better, the owner decided to change the oil every 3000 kilometers, no matter how much it was driven, just to be on the safe side. So paired with this upgraded cooling package, the car produces just under 400 horsepower and 630 newton meters of torque, which is plenty to get you going from A to B very fast on the public road or on the track. So I'd say let's go for a drive and see what it feels like.
whole car is just very, very sound. I've driven the car in the notch life for quite a bit and there is just no problems. The temperatures don't make any problems. Nothing is rattling or screeching. And I'm sure you do have more noise um, from the drivetrain, um, especially due to the Drexler differential um, and certain mounts just being completely solid, different trailing arm bushings and stuff like that. But as a street car, fantastic. Just right to have fun just right to get the rear to step out it's such a nice sound and such a nice tone it is not too loud it's not drony it's not obnoxious uh, it doesn't pop and burble obnoxiously it is completely natural and uh, I mean that's what I love about this car despite it being turbocharged it is so natural and pure to drive so yeah let's go for a last drive with this car we have some twisty roads ahead a last hurrah, if you will, before the car goes off to its new owner. But I'm sure the new owner will have just as much fun with this thing as I've had over the time. <laughs> oh my god! It is blisteringly fast! Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.